Hello there guys and welcome to this Xplane 11 video. It looks like many of you guys are interested in the tweaks and the add-ons that I use for Xplane 11. So in this video I'm going to show you everything that I use in terms of add-ons as well as the tweaks with links of course as usual in the description section of the video. Let us begin by taking a look at the ground tweaks if you will. So a lot of people ask me how do you get your runways to look so good and the apron area the airport signage. I'm using a free tweak by Mr. 6X. Uh, Mr. 6X recently started creating payware airports, one of which is the Salt Lake City Airport, and the latest one is the Albuquerque um, Airport, which is a beautiful airport, one of the very best I've seen for X-Plane. So I'm using his pack. Uh, the airport pack is very easy to use. You simply drag it and drop it in your custom scenery folder. Again, a link to the Mr. 6X HD airport pack is available in the description section of the video. Another ground tweak that I use in X-Plane 11, which in my opinion makes a huge difference, is the night lighting tweak. As you can see, the distribution of white versus orange lights here makes for a very convincing scene. Uh, this is probably why my um, night environment looks uh, a little different uh, from most of you folks. Now, I've searched for this file long and hard on the Xplain org. I could not find this particular version. There are other versions that work maybe only for the US or only for Europe, but this version works anywhere in the world in exactly the same way. Um, so if you guys know where to find this file on the Xplain org, please do let me know. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to include this and onto my Dropbox and provide you with a link to it. While we're speaking about ground tweaks and add-ons, for the longest time I used to use Tugmaster by Jar Design for pushback operations. The nice thing about Tugmaster, it comes with several liveries. It's fairly easy to use, but it's a payware add-on. So recently I've switched to pushback or better pushback. Uh, the thing I like about better pushback, it gives you granular control over your pushback operation so you can push back the aircraft to exactly the position that you want and it's actually freeware and the link to it is going to be provided in the description section of the video. When it comes to weather generation and weather environments most of you already know that my favorite add-on is X-Enviro. With that said though um, X-Enviro is not exactly accurate when it comes to upper wind data. So I started searching for alternative freeware and I found that the variety cloud pack looks um, reasonable. It's not exactly 100%, it's not 100% realistic, but I think uh, as you can see here, it looks very, very good. Uh, it's very convincing. And this is what I've been using in the last probably 10 videos or so. Now, X-Plane 11 has its own weather generation engine, and it's fairly accurate in terms of global winds aloft. But what I found out is that using FS Global Real Weather gives a better representation of the cloud layers. So the layer and, and the thickness of the layer is probably better depicted when using FS Global Real Weather. Again, the links to this cloud pack is going to be provided in the description section of the video. One note, the download is going to have four sets and I'm using set number one. In terms of sky colors, as you can see here, the sky color is very nice and soothing at different times of the day. And what I'm using is the realistic sky colors by Abdallah Al Muntasser. And this is again freeware and the links to it will be provided in the description section of the video. So, what else do I use in X-Plane 11? Well, I use X-Camera. X-Camera is a wonderful tool that allows you to navigate through the X-Plane world as well as the um, aircraft 3D cockpit. Um, it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it and to set it up correctly, but once you do, it's, it's a very useful tool and it allows you to do all kinds of things and do whatever you like. Uh, set up views and you can also set up cinematic uh, sequences if that's what you choose to do. Another thing that I use faithfully in all my videos is head shake provided by sim coders. Now a lot of you have asked me why am I not using XP Realistic and I really don't have an answer other than it's my preference to use 
um, head shake. I think it's a lightweight um, plugin for X-Plane 11. I've been using it probably since the days of X-Plane 10, and so it is the plugin that I prefer and most comfortable with. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off here real quick from Catalina Island. I'm going to release the parking brake, and I'm just going to show you here the dynamic uh, view that um, uh, that head shake provides. This is head shake again by Simcoders, and we're just gonna uh, take off here. As you can see, now you're getting those bumps. So it kind of acts in the same way that XP Realistic does. I, for some reason, prefer this one. There we go. One last thing before we conclude our short show today. Many of you guys have been asking me, how do you get your textures to look so sharp and so good in x 11? And the secret to that, folks, is in the texture quality setting. If you go to settings here, texture quality, I have it set to maximum with no compression, and this makes a whole lot of difference in terms of visual quality. So for lower end cards, this needs to be probably at maximum with compression. Uh, because as you can see, it does consume a lot of VRAM at this setting. But with a 1080 Ti, um, you have about 11 gig of uh, VRAM available. So it should not be a problem. And let me tell you, the difference in visual quality is, is quite large. So uh, if you have a card that has more than 6 uh, GB VRAM, I highly recommend that you crank this up to maximum with no compression. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of our short show today. I hope that this was a useful and informative video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.